Hello everybody, this is Arif. Today uh, we will discuss uh, integrals. We will solve, we will learn a method to solve integrals. In general, solving integrals is a little bit harder than finding the derivatives of functions. We make different substitutions, we use different tricks like we, make, we can make u substitution, we do integration by parts, trigonometric function substitutions or hyperbolic functions um, and so forth and so forth. So today we focus mainly on this type of uh, integrals. So here a and b are real numbers and the integration is over theta. Okay. So whenever we see an integral in this form, uh, the substitutions that I uh, just mentioned uh, in general don't work. Okay. And there is this special kind of uh, substitution we use to solve these type of integrals. And this is called tangent half angle. <laughs> Quite interesting, right? So what we do is we say t is equal to a new variable is equal to tangent theta over 2. Quite interesting. So when we make the substitution, the integral takes simpler forms and we can handle it. Okay, before we move on, let's write down sine theta and cosine theta in terms of t because in the integrants, as you see here, we, we may have cosine or sine functions, tangent functions. Uh, so we need to be able to write cosine and sine functions at least in terms of t. Okay, so in order to do that, let me draw this geometry. So let's suppose this is my theta over 2, this is theta over 2. Oh, okay, so this is theta then. It's my right triangle. So tangent theta over 2 is t. So if this is t, this whole length is equal to 1, right? So let me call this side length z. So this would be z because this side is equal to that side, right? So then from here to here becomes 1 minus z. This is good. I hope you are all with me. So now I will use the Pythagorean theorem for here. So what I have is t square plus 1 minus z square is equal to z square. Good. So t square plus 1 plus z square minus 2z is equal to z square. So z square, z square cancels. So z turns out to be uh, t square plus 1 over 2. Okay, this is good. So since I know z, I can solve for cosine or sine theta. So what is, what is sine theta? Sine theta will be equal to t over z. So t over z gives me 2t over t square plus 1. Let's find cosine theta. Cosine theta will be equal to 1 minus z over z, right? So 1 minus z is equal to 1 minus t square plus 1 over 2 over t square plus 1 over 2. Okay, so this gives me 2 minus t square minus 1. So up here I have 1 minus t square over 2, then I have 1 plus t square over 2, okay? So simply cosine theta is equal to 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. So I have cosine theta and I have sine theta in terms of t, okay? The next step is to find d theta. So d theta over dt, right? So I hope this is clear. So we can find d theta here. So if we take the derivative with respect to uh, t here, let's say 1 will be equal to the derivative of tangent is 1 plus tangent square theta over 2 times we will have uh, 1 over 2. Okay, then we will have d theta over dt. 
Okay. But what is tangent square uh, theta over 2? It's just t square. So 1 is equal to 1 plus t square okay, over 2. Then we have d theta over dt. So if I want to write d theta in terms of dt, now it's easy. d theta will be equal to 2 dt over 1 plus t square. So these are all the substitutions I need to make to turn this integral into an integral over t, a new uh, variable. So we will move, move on from here. Okay, so now I want to solve this integral where a, b, uh, as I mentioned before, are real numbers. And we are going to make the substitution here. So t is equal to tangent theta over 2. So if, it's, if this is the case, I have already showed that sine theta can be replaced with 2t over 1 plus t square and cosine theta can be replaced with 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square and d theta is given like that. So let's write down this integral in terms of our new variable. So we will have 1 over a plus b times cosine theta, which is 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. So this is my cosine theta times d theta, 2 dt over 1 plus t square. Okay. Okay, so now I will multiply one plus, uh, everything here, these two terms with 1 plus t square. When I do that, this cancels, the denominator here cancels, so b term will just have 1 minus t square, and a term will, will have 1 plus t square. And there's a plus here, so I already did the, did the multiplication here. So this is dt, and I have a factor of 2. Good. So it's even more, even simpler now. So let's see what we have, what we have here. So the integral is simply equal to now uh, 2 dt integral over, so I have a plus b, okay, then plus a minus b, right? So a minus b t square. It's very good. So if I take the constants out, so 2 over, so I will use a plus b parentheses, so this will be dt over 1 plus a minus b over a plus b, a minus b over a plus b t square. And this is the integral I need to evaluate. Okay, so I'll clean the board a little bit and we will move on from here. Okay, I have already showed that this integral uh, reduces to this form when I make this substitution. Tangent half angle, okay? So at this point I have three options, okay? The first option, a can be equal to b. The second option, a may be larger than b, and the third option, you say, <laughs> b may be larger than a. Okay, so the first option, we will say a is equal to b, okay? If this is the case, this integral turns into something really, really simple. So 2 over a plus b is just 2a integral dt over, so this is just 1, right? <laughs> So in the end, the integral turns out to be 1 over a times t. So it is t tangent theta over 2. So 1 over a tangent theta over 2 plus an integration constant c. So this is our result when a is equal to b. This was simple. Okay, so let's look at the second case. Okay. We have already showed that i the integral is equal to 1 over a tangent theta over 2 plus an integration constant when a is equal to b here. Okay, we will look at the second case now. 
So A will be larger than B. So if A is greater than B, we can simply say, we'll make a U substitution. So U will be equal to square root of A minus B over A plus B times T. So this implies that DU is equal to square root of this term plus DT. Okay, so when we make this substitution here, so the integral I becomes 2 over A plus B. Okay, the integral, instead of DT, I can write square root A plus B over square root A minus B. Okay, let me take them out because these are constants, integral. Okay, I have du. So du over 1 plus u square. So it's easy to integrate now. This is nothing but uh, arc tangent, right? So this is arc tangent of u. So what is u? Square root of a minus b over a plus b times t, but t is tangent theta over 2. So this is tangent theta over 2. Okay, write it nicely. Tangent theta over 2. And then plus c. I can further simplify it here. So square root of a plus b, this is a plus b, so it's become square root of a plus b. So this is nothing but 2 over square root a square minus b square. And this is the result of my integral. So next step is to show that um, what this integral is when a is less than b. So far, we have found this integral. Uh, for these two cases. So a is equal to b this was our first case and a is larger than b was the second case. The third and the last one is uh, a is less than b. So if a is less than b this term becomes uh, negative, right? So I can simply write it as so let me put it here. This is my third, third case. So I can put a minus sign here. So this is minus. Now this becomes B minus A, right? B minus A. So at this point, I can make a U substitution. I can say U is equal to square root of B minus A over uh, B plus A. Let's, see. Let's put B first times T. Okay. So the integral becomes, now it's easy, 2 over A plus B times uh, dt, instead of dt, I can write square root of a plus b or b plus a divided by b minus a. The order here is important. So then the integral, I will have du over 1 minus u square. Okay. So I can simplify here a little bit. So this becomes square root of a plus b. This goes away. It's just 1. 1 over square root of b minus a. So this is 2 over square root of b square minus a square. Okay, Similar to what I had before. So I just need to evaluate this integral. So I just need to use uh, partial fraction decomposition, right? So I can write 1 over 1 minus u square as a over 1 plus u or 1 minus u let's say and b over 1 plus u so this side is nothing but 1 over 1 plus u and 1 minus u okay so there's an easy way to do it so in order to find a i will close 1 minus u term here so i will just put 1 so 1 over 1 plus 1 is 1 over 2 so a here is 1 over 2. So I'll do the same thing here, a similar thing. When u is equal to minus 1, I close this term here. 
when u is equal to minus 1, this is one, 1 half, so b is, also, b is also equal to 1 half. So this integral becomes, so we can put 1 half out, okay? So the integral du over 1 minus u plus an integral du 1 plus u. Okay, the rest is going to be easy. So this two cancels this two. Okay, so the first integral is ln minus ln 1 minus u. The second one is this plus ln 1 plus u. Okay, very good. So the integral, and then we will have plus c, the integration constant. So I need to put what u is here, right? So the integral is going to be equal to 1 over square root of b square minus a square. Okay, can put one common ln parentheses. So I'll have 1 plus u. So 1 plus b minus a over b plus a times t which is tangent theta over 2 over, uh, I have minus here, that's why it's over, and then 1 minus u, so 1 minus b minus a over b plus a tangent theta over 2. Okay. Then I'll have plus c. Okay. And this is uh, my final answer uh, for the case when a is equal to less than b. So as you see, we have three options, so depending on the values of a and b. So this is for a less than b. Okay. So we will use uh, uh, this method, this substitution, uh, in our future topics. So I just wanted to discuss that here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please go ahead and try to solve different types of integrals in this form. Instead of cosine, you can have sine here, or you can have combination of sine and cosine functions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please write your questions under the comments and try to solve different integrals uh, using this uh, substitution tangent half angle. Have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.